Hey there everybody. I want to show you how to create an appointments calendar or an open office hours calendar using a product called Calendly. First, a big shout out to the company. They're making their tools more expanded in the uh, access of tools you get for free during the COVID-19 pandemic. So again, another tech company contributing to social good here. Um, what I want to do in this video is show you how to create a Calendly account. I want to show you how to link that account to your Google calendars and then to embed the link to that calendar in your Gmail signature. That way, when people want to book calendar appointments with you, um, all they need to do is check your email to them, click the link and book a time. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to put this link in the video description. It's calendly.com. Now on the home page, you can sign up right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, test account. And it might prompt you if you're a Google Apps for Education user to just press sign up with Google. So when I click this, I'll choose the account. Um, I need to give it permissions to the calendar. So I'll press allow. And on the next screen, once this finishes, uh, it will give me the ability to create a custom URL. So for mine, it's like this. But in this case, it's taking the name from my account and just making this link. So calendly.com slash, and then whatever is over here will be the URL. It's a website you can share with people if they want to book times. But again, we're going to embed this in our email signature. So no one even needs to know what that link is. They're just going to see your email. It'll say book a time and they'll click there and book a time with you. So once you have your URL set up, let's press continue. Um, what this is going to do next is check your calendars for conflicts and which calendar it wants to add events to. If you're like me and you have a bunch of calendars and you only want to check a few of them. So for example, uh, the, I don't need to check the lower school calendar for conflicts. I want to check my tech department calendar for conflicts. I can press edit over here. And if I wanted it to check other calendars for conflicts, I could. For now, I'm not going to do that. And if I want to, I can add my events. Uh, so if people book meetings through this calendar link, it will add it to one of these calendars. You can only choose one calendar to add those links to. So I would recommend that you do that for your personal account. So whatever your school's account is, add it to your calendar, not some kind of shared calendar within your department, unless you have a really specific reason to do that. Um, Okay, so I'm leaving these set for now. This will look different for you probably. So let's press continue. Um, I can set my open office hours. So I can set the days I'm available. Maybe I only want to be Tuesday through Thursday from 7 to, let's say, 1 p.m. Um, and we'll press continue. Um, here it'll ask you, you know, what's your personal experience? In the vast majority of your cases, you'll choose education. Um, unless you might be choosing interview scheduling, but for all of us, it's probably education. Press finish. And we are good. So there is a guide. I'm going to move this video over here. Um, there's a getting started guide. I, I would uh, encourage you to walk through this. So um, you can choose to create events of different types. They have 15 minute meetings, 30 minute meetings, 60 minute meetings. Let's click this blue create new event type and let's give this a try. So um, let's say I wanted to make an event like uh, tech training and the location I don't need. And I can tell people uh, use this if you want to book trainings. This will be a sub calendar within the link. This is a, this is like a sub event within your links. So it's a, you can make multiple types. You can make like parent conference, student conference, um, training or um, group meeting. You can choose the duration 15, 30, 45, 60 minute, or you can type your own. You can make them random <laughs> intervals. Um, so you can choose a date range. Um, typically you're just going to leave that blank. Uh, your time zone will be checked automatically, your availability, 
Um, and again, I will let you play with all these things. Some of you may want to mess with the advanced settings. You don't have to do any of this if you don't want to. Um, you can add all kinds of additional uh, tools here. Um, and when we are done, if we go back to event types, you can see um, we had 15 minute meeting, 30 minute meeting, 60 minute meeting. And now there's this one for tech training. Okay, I have four different types of meetings. Maybe I wanna make all of them or just two of them available. So I only want people to be able to do these two. I'll turn these on by clicking them, right? And using the toggle switch down here. This might be a little hard to see because uh, of the screencastify tools. I'll need to move these around a little bit. So I can check the boxes on events. So maybe I wanna turn these two off. I can toggle these and turn them off. So now people will not be able to book this 30 minute and 60 minute meeting. They'll only see 15 minutes or a tech training. All right, so what did we just do? We signed up for Calendly and we made a custom link that people are gonna be able to use to book 15 minute meetings or 30 minute tech trainings. So where do we go from here? Um, if I click this link, calendly.com slash pack three, this is the custom link that we made before. This is now my calendar. People can click through and choose tech training. They'll see the dates when I'm available. Let's say they wanna book a training for Friday. They'll see the slots that are currently available. You might wanna choose one and confirm it. You can enter what your name is, uh, or the, sorry, the name of the event, um, uh, meeting about Zoom conferencing. You can add your email or guest emails. You can add text about what is this about. And then when you're ready, press schedule and we're good. So if I go back to the pack calendar, you can see on the right hand side, I booked a 9.30 to 10 o'clock meeting where I can um, you know, join that meeting with a Google Meet link, it's already created. There's a cancellation link, there's a rescheduling link. This is all well and good, but we need people to be able to find this calendar, right? We need people to be able to find this link so that they can actually book these times. So here's where we get fancy. We're gonna take the link that we just finished creating. We're gonna go back to our Gmail and we're gonna add this to our signature. What do I mean by a signature? When I press compose on an email, at this moment, there's no signature on this account. If you have an email signature, something will show up at the bottom that has maybe your name and your phone number. And then you can add a link that says book a time with me. So we'll click the gearbox and go to settings. Let's scroll down and there's a section here called signature. So right now, this account has no signature. We're gonna change that and we'll write, you know, the name and maybe there's a phone number. And then we're gonna write book an appointment with me. Let's highlight those words, click the link button and paste the link from up here. This is the Calendly link that we made. We'll press OK. We'll press Save. And now, in just a few minutes time, we've created a custom calendar. We've added a link to our email signatures that will bring people to that calendar where they can book meeting times with us. So notice that if I go and try and book these times, I'll only see certain days available. And if somebody's already booked a time, so I already booked the 9.30 slot, notice how that's no longer available. This is gonna be incredibly helpful for teachers who need to set up appointments with administrators, students who need to set up meetings with teachers, parents who need to meet with both, and in general, in the workforce, if you are working from home and you want people to know when you're free and not free, please use this 
tool to message to others when you're available to conference. 